few years ago me and my colleague we participated in an hackathon where we created a chatbot interface which can talk to a nlp module which exposes some api we were two people separately working on these work and we had equal amount of work creating a chatbot interface and also the api which needs to be interacting with the chatbot fast forward to now we can create a chatbot within just five lines of code in this video we are going to look at what is gradio and how you can leverage gradio to create delightful ui to talk to your machine learning applications or any api which you want to expose to this user interface let's get started gradio is a python based library using which you can create the ui which is rendered from a python service to get started you can hit the quick start option here and you can see that the installation requires you to install pip install gradio and you can just access gradio by creating this piece of code so this is just five lines of code and you can just get a ui something similar to here right let's try creating this so let me copy this code here and let me go back to my terminal to create a gradio application so i'm just creating a gradio example folder and let me navigate to that folder and here i'm going to create a requirements.txt file where i want to have gradio as a dependency i don't know which version of gradio to use so i'm just defining only gradio and i'm going to do uh, pip install or even before pip installation i also want to create a, a pip environment right so i don't want to um, create or install gradio in my machine instead i want to create a virtual environment right to do that so i'm going to create a gradio env and i'm going to leverage it so i'll just leverage the same environment and i'm going to do a pip install on that right so gradio gets installed within this particular environment and i'm going to use this environment for my demo so the installation is complete and now i can go and write the code i am going to write it in the file called a app.py let me just paste it and i can sh save this meanwhile i can also open this in vs code let me open that so that i can show you clearly so yeah so the project is open in vs code we have um, the command line interface where we can run it and you can see that it's just five lines of code right just to understand what we have done here we are importing gradio into a variable which is gr we are going to create an interface from that gr variable or the handle so there are three parts to it the function the inputs and the output so function has two arguments which is the input the name which is a text which we have defined here and the intensity is nothing but a slider which is like zero to 100 whatever right and then the output is again a text so this method the great method returns a integer which we can see all these are just wrapped into a handle called demo and we are launching that particular handle let's see how we can run this now so i can do a python an app.py so that we can run this particular application so once we run it it should expose a web endpoint so if you see here it's exposed a url and i can access this url to access this user interface voila so see that we have created a chatbot kind of an interface it just five lines of code right where we can enter some text here i'm just going to say tech primers i'm going to increase the intensity to some and you can see that i'm getting hello tech primers so the moment i click submit the function what we wrote got hit and we are getting the output here now you can ask me how can i customize all these options definitely those are possible we just started setting up this project so in order to have customization on top of that you can go to the interface class here there are tons of documentation available to have custom gradio uis built if you go to the interface you can see gradio components and you can see different ways in which you can customize these options right you can rename these output uh, you can rename for example here the outputs got renamed to greeting right so i can just create a text box and i can just make that name change for example let me show you i can just copy this here and let's go here i 
and if I restart my server I think we used two list here so once we restart I think the server is up now let me refresh it now the output should change to greeting see here the output got changed to greeting and if I submit something I am just getting the message still right this is how you can customize Gradio right there are tons of options available you can also have inputs modified you can have text boxes in the input as well for example we mentioned only text but if let's say you want text boxes right you can define text box also here uh, I don't know if they have an example here but you can also have uh, text boxes instead of the text input box here right so see here there is also a slider option where you can customize the minimum maximum value uh, etc for example the minimum value is 1 and maximum is 10 and the default value is 2 right so you can have the slider have this as a default so you see here the there is an option which shows up here you can even look at the demo and then try it out here as well right to see how it works do try gradio and then see how you can leverage it to integrate with any of your backend apis so in my subsequent videos, I'm going to leverage Gradio as a user interface so that we can interact with our LLMs. I'll also show you how you can leverage Olama to talk to OpenAPI. I hope this particular video was very helpful. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.